Hey guys, this is Tabletop Sports Delaware, and uh, this is the final video of the Stratomatic University baseball basic version series of videos where we are going to play a game, <clears throat> take the time as we go, explain each rule as we come to it, so that way you can see how the game works. <clears throat> um, not much uh, fanfare for this one, just a game. Um, decided to run it between the 2015 New York Mets and St. Louis Cardinals, so that way younger players coming into the game, they might see, they're might see they going to see some names that they would recognize right from the word jump. And, oh, I can do this with some of my favorite players kind of thing, you know. So, um, As you saw in the last video, we set up our lineups. So basically you're going to have your cards set up like this in order as you have them written down on your score sheet uh, for both teams. So for the Mets we're going to have David Wright and Stratomatic you can write them down. Uh, I use the payoff pitch baseball um, score sheets. There's somewhere to write down all the information you're going to need for a basic and also for advanced. There's other ratings for super advanced, so it makes it kind of scurchy, but, you know, for the most part, this score sheet is really good. So you can see he plays third base, so I've written third base next to his name. His air fielding rating is a 3, so I wrote the 3. His running rating is 1 through 12, so I just wrote down 12. And his steal rating is D, so I wrote down D. And I did that for each player. David Wright... Uh, Daniel Murphy, who is playing second, and his ratings are right there next to his name. So that way I can refer to him and I don't have to go digging for cards later. I can, it doesn't wreck the flow of the game uh, as much as having to dig through the deck. What was this steel rating again? Got it handy right there, or on any score sheet you use. And then we have uh, Suspedes, he's third, so I've got his card third in the pile. We have Granderson, he's fourth on the list. We have Duda, he is fifth on the list. Flores, uh, Michael Conforto, Kevin Plawecki, and I have the pitcher's hitting card. Uh, Jake DeGrom uses batting number three, pitcher's hitting card number three. This is the one he will use. He bats ninth. And then we have the 2015 St. Louis Cardinals. So we have Colton Wong batting first. As you can see, there he is with all his ratings written down. Uh, batting second is uh, Jason Hayward. Uh, third on that list is Steve Piscotti. Fourth is Matt Carpenter. Randall Grichik is fifth. Johnny Peralta is sixth. Yadi Molina batting seventh. Brandon Moss batting eighth. And batting ninth will be the starting pitcher for the Cardinals, John Lackey. And he takes a batting card number one. Pitcher's hitting card number one. And he will be batting ninth. And they are in order right there. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you've got your two teams. You want to take the starting pitcher from the Mets or whatever teams you're playing and put it on top of the Cardinals. That's how I do it. Starting pitcher for the Cardinals, put it on top of the Mets. So that way, you've got all the cards you're going to need for a half inning at the ready. Now, I generally do it differently, but I figure this is probably going to be good for illustration's sake. So, I always put the cards uh, next to the defensive team, so that way I know which defender to look up if a X result comes up. So we'll put them there like that. So we have the Mets here and the Cardinals pitcher. And the light is not that great. That's a little better, a little more room. So that way you can read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do it any way you want. You put your batters up here, your pitcher there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Invert it. It doesn't matter. But I'm just putting it down this way for ease of following along during this how-to play a basic version game of Stratomatic. Alrighty. Um, we're ready. We've done all the setup stuff. Let's roll dice. That's what we're here for, right? First up is David Wright. 
So we roll the dice. Um, you can just roll the three. And then if the need to roll the d20 comes up, you can do it. We'll do that because that's the way it says in the rules. And we'll roll the d20 when we need to. So the first one is a five and a four. So look in column number five on the pitcher's card. The result number four is a strikeout. David Wright gets caught swinging at the knee cheese. I gotta say it. It's my catch. That is out number one. Daniel Murphy is next. Danny Murphy, second baseman. Let's roll the three die six. And you'll see that is a six. Going to come off the pitcher's card. And eight. Go down to eight. That is a single for Murphy. Right of there. So Murphy is on first. Uh, he's got an E steal rating. And if you look at your basic strategy chart, you're going to see the stealing second. He needs to roll a 1 through 7. E, yes, 1 through 7 to steal second safely. It's not really good. E is the lowest steal rating uh, up through A, double A, and triple A. So you really don't want to be stealing too many bases with an E if you can avoid it. Um, but we do have Suspedes up next, 287 batter. Um, I see this just as a regular at bat. No need to do anything different. So let's roll the dice. So spades. That is a two, so it will come off the batter's card. And a four. Four, two, four is a home run. So spades goes yard. En fuego. Touch them all. Mets have a two nothing lead with one out in the top of the first. John Lackey getting tagged early and often, folks. Curtis Granderson up next. Cleanup batter. Lackey with a pitch. Six, nine, another single. So we put Granderson on first. Now he's a steel C. Um, but with Yachty Molina catching and rated a one, you may recall that if a catcher's defensive rating is one, then you deduct four from the steal chances. They're going to hold Granderson only if they hold the runner. So they're going to hold Granderson. Um, that takes his C of 1 to 11 down to a 1 to 7, taking four away from that. So Granderson is not going to try and steal in this instance. Uh, Lucas Duda comes to the plate. Runner on first. One out. Two nothing Mets. That is a five. And a 10, catcher's card X. So you look at the defensive team, which is the Cardinals, and Yachty is defensively playing with a rating of 1. So you're going to get the basic fielding chart out, catcher's card X. Roll the D20. It is a 3. See it? Yeah, that's a 3. So you're going to look at 1 three passed ball with followed by a one which means one runners advance a base it says passed ball followed by a pop out and that'll be a pop out to the catcher so we are going to advance granderson to second on the passed ball and then duda pops out to Molina for the second out. We have a runner on second base. Uh, Wilmer Flores, shortstop. Uh, leave the D20 out. I always, like I said, I always roll the D20. You'll see me do that in my game, so that way it's already done. It's one less thing I've got to do if it comes up. Unless it is stealing or advancing a base, I'll roll it separately. So that way it's not like, oh, I know he's going to make it, you know. But for splits here, and I'll do it later to show you how I do it, perhaps. But this is the rules. This is how you do it. Um, Flores, 3, 8, pops it out to third base for the third out. P, 5. So the Mets score two runs in the top of the first. Then you take the guys that batted, take the guys that didn't, put them on top, put the pitcher's card on top, and it's ready for the top of the second inning.
ready to go. All right, the Mets are, I mean the Cardinals rather, are ready to go. So Colton Wong is going to be leading off. Can't really read that too well. I'm just going to have to put them down here where you guys can actually see them and just be careful with the defensive stuff. All right, so Colton Wong is our leadoff batter for the St. Louis Cardinals. Here in the bottom of the first, Mets are up 2 0. DeGrom is on the hill taking his warm up throws with uh, Kevin Plowecki. He likes a sign. Colton Wong standing in. Here comes the pitch. Five, seven. Strikeout. Wow. I really like the Avon calling for the strikeout. I couldn't have timed that any better. Uh, so Colton Wong. One, two, three strikes. You're out. Jason Hayward now at the plate. One away. DeGrom with the pitch. Three, eight. That is going to be a ground ball to shortstop A. <clears throat> ground ball A. Uh, if no runners are forced, runners hold. Um, if one or more runners are forced, runner on first is out, completion of a double play. There are no base runners on, so simply batter is out at first. And that was on a ground ball A to the shortstop, Wilmer Flores. So that's a 6-3 ground ball, two away. And Steven Piscotti is up. DeGrom with the pitch, 5-10. Go to 5 down to 10. Ground ball shortstop X. So that is going to be Wilmer Flores. He is a 4. So we're going to look at uh, shortstop column 4. And we're going down. That's cocked. Roll it again. 2. Uh, gets through for a single. Now this single has a 2 after it. Um, and as you'll see at the bottom of this chart, two means runners advance two bases. Were there any? There are not, but it is a single for Piscotti. So a base hit extends the inning. And now we go to Matt Carpenter looking to even the score here. Alrighty, here comes, get rid of that D20. We're not doing that this game. To Carpenter, 6, 7, ground ball, second base, X. So now we're going to be looking at Danny Murphy. He is a 4. So we're going to look at our second base portion of the chart, column 4. 17. He is, it is out 1. Which means it's a ground ball, 4, 3, and runners advance 1 base. However, it is the third out. 4-3 ends the inning. No runs plated for the Cardinals. We go to the top of the second. This is how you play the game. There's not a lot more to it than this. But we'll continue to play. That way, if anything comes up, then you will see it in action. We'll try to work some things in. Uh, let's see. John Lackey is set to go. Large and in charge on the hill for the Mets, uh, for the Cardinals. Michael Conforto leading off here in the top of the second. Notice how I had it already set. I took the batters that hadn't batted in the inning, put them on top, right underneath pitcher's card, laid them out. Just a pro tip, I guess. My pro tip. Conforto, two, five. He's got a walk. So Conforto is a leadoff batter in the second inning on base. Next is catcher Kevin Ploiecki, eighth in the order. Lackey with the pitch. Now Ploiecki is a 219 batter. So Ploiecki is probably going to, this is not good strategy wise, just so you guys know. Um, he wouldn't be good to bunt it over because then your pitcher is coming up. You know, you don't want to bunt two times in a row. We're going to try a hit and run on this guy. Because <clears throat> he's got some ground ball A's in the middle there. So it could be a double play, and then you've got two out. So we're going to try a hit and run. So we're going to be looking at the two dice. Two die six is a six. Hit and run. 
Result six is ground out to second base, runners advance a base. So they pulled off the hit and run swimming. So that is going to be a grounder to second. Four, three, advance the runner. One out, runner on second, and now Jake DeGrom comes to the plate. <sighs> yeah, he's got a batter hitting card of three. Lackey is kind of tough. Okay, we're going to demonstrate a bunt. So again, you'll look at the sacrifice portion of the chart. 2 through 12, you're rolling 2 die 6. So let's do that. Um, DeGrom is going to lay it down. There's an 8. And we look at that. Up a little bit. 8. Batter is thrown out by the first baseman. Runners advance 1 base. So he lays it down the first baseline. Charging in is... Uh, Brandon Moss, and he gets it to Colton Wong covering. So that will be a 3-4. I mark it sacrifice hit like that. And moves him across. Two outs. Runner on third for David Wright. And I dropped my die. It's under my butt somewhere. Another pro tip. Always have backups. <laughs> Alrighty, David Wright, two out, man on third. Lackey with a pitch, five, six, five, six. Fly ball to center field, and that'll be the third out. We don't need to worry about what the B is. However, if you had to look up the B, you're going to look in the fly ball section right here. Fly ball B, batter is out. If there was a runner on third, he would have scored. He would have scored. However, uh, not to be this time. So fly out to, what was it, 5, 6, center field. Out number 3. Mets score no runs. And we're going to go to the bottom of the second inning. And once you get the hang of this, uh, gameplay goes so fast. It really does. So don't worry if it seems like this game is going to take a while. Not all the games take this long. I can rattle out a game in under 20 minutes. Not often because I gotta talk to myself while I'm doing it. Sometimes it slows me down. Cardinals at bat facing Jake DeGrom, Randall Grichik leading off bottom of the second. Two, ten, two, ten. Fly ball to left field for out number one. Easy play out there for Michael Conforto. And that's gonna bring us to Johnny Peralta, the shortstop. DeGrom is set. Gets the sign from Ploiecki, shakes off the first one, likes the second one. Here's the pitch, 6-8. Fly ball to left field. Lather and repeat. That is two away. Yadi Molina comes to the plate. One of my favorite catchers of all time. Yadier Molina. Jacob DeGrom of the pitch, 2-9-2-9. Two, nine, two, nine. Ground ball to short stop. 6-3 ends it. It is an A, so if there had been a runner on first, it would have been a double play. If there was a runner on second, no runners forced, he would have been held. Uh, if the infield was in, those two pluses means that instead it squirts through for a single. However, just a routine ground ball ends the inning. Alrighty. So hopefully we'll get to the point where we can show you some of those other things like infield in and such as that. Uh, we go to the top of the third. John Lackey is set to throw the Spalding, and he's facing Daniel Murphy, Ioannis Suspedes, and Curtis Granderson in this inning. Murphy first. Lackey with the pitch. Five, seven. Pop out to third base. Out number one. Dink. Ioannis Suspedes. Homer his last time up. 5-5 five, five, and catches him swinging. That is out number two. 5-5. Five, five. Strikeout. And Curtis Granderson. 3-5. Three, 3-5. Five. Three, five. Now we have single with an asterisk, which means runners advance no more than one base. But they do advance a base. <clears throat> 1 to 16 or line out to second base 17 to 20. This is where we roll the d20. It's a 12, so it falls within the 1 to 16 range. That is a single for Curtis Granderson. Derek. 
Lucas Duda to the plate. Popped up in front of home plate to Molina his last time up. Here comes the pitch from John Lackey. 5-2. And that would be a walk. Two runners on with two outs. 2-0 two ball game. Mets. Wilmer Flores comes up to the plate. <clears throat> Popped out to third his last time up. Lackey is set. He struck out two so far. Try to do that. So that way it's easier to count at the end of the game. 4-7. Uh, 4 Seven ground ball second base X. So we're looking at St. Louis second baseman Colton Wong is defensively rated at a two. So we're going to look at second base and we're going to look at column two. Wong rolls a 12, 12, two out three. Is there a runner? There is runners, but that doesn't matter in this instance because it is the third out. So out three would be just like a ground ball A. It's a completion of a double play if there are base runners. But it is the third out, so we'll just mark it 4-3, ground ball. In the inning, we go to the bottom of the third, 2 nothing Mets. Take the ones that batted. Take the ones that haven't batted. And take the pitcher. That's how it is set to go for the next inning for me. Do it however you want, but figure if you want to know how I do it, then I'll show you how I do it. Uh, Jake DeGrom. Say what you like. It's Jake DeGrom. And he will be facing Brandon Moss, John Lackey, and Colton Wong in this inning. So here we go. Brandon Moss is set. Here comes the pitch. 2-7. Two, seven, fly ball to right field for out number one. Next is going to be John Lackey. Uh, six, six, single one through 18. 19, line out to third, 19 and 20. So that is a very skinny little split on the bottom, but Lackey could not get the ball up over David Wright's glove enough to get the base hit. Colton Wong with two outs. Jake DeGrom, six, five, six, five, strikeout. That is DeGrom's second. And that ends the third inning. Score 2-0 Mets. The ones that have batted, the ones that have not batted, and pitcher. All right, let's go to the top of the fourth, and we might need to stack them because we're starting to get out there a little bit. We can do it one more go through the lineup, I think. No problem, but then we'll have to start to stack them, which, no problem. Michael Conforto leading off, top of the fourth, walked his last time up. John Lackey has given up two runs. Here's the pitch, four Five, ground ball, shortstop, X. And that will be Johnny Peralta rated defensively at a three. See, I don't have to go through my cards. Uh, Peralta, what's his rating? Uh, there he is. He's a three. Got it handy right there. Write down as much information as you can before you play. If you want to. You can go card fishing if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. Just know what information will be handy and write it in. Peralta, shortstop, is a three. So we will be looking at shortstop three. 14. One, two, three. Two base error on Johnny Peralta. See, two base error followed with a two. And the two signifies that uh, two runners advance two bases. So that is an E6. Bapo Peralta. Bad Peralta. Uh, so we go there. E6, probably not the proper way to do it, the official way to do it, but that's how I do it. That way I know that that play happened to get him to this base. That's just how I do it. Uh, error Peralta, right there, so that way I know he's been charged with an error <coughs> next to his actual name instead of having to go hunting for it up there. Uh, Conforto, on by the error, Kevin Plowecki comes up. Alrighty, here we go. Ploiecki is going to swing away this time without the runner on first and no worry about a double play. 
5, 12, ground ball to second base, C. To second base, batter is out of first, runners advance a base. So, that is a ground ball deep to second. Only enough time for Wong to get to Moss at first. Conforto scampers over to third, unhindered. One out. Uh, Jake DeGrom is up. He's going to swing away. Four, eight. Four, eight. <laughs> uh, one, two, it's a double and scores the run. Three through 20, it's a single and scores the run. That's a single. Jake DeGrom shouldn't be much of a surprise there. RBI single. Scores Conforto. Unearned run. However, it counts just the same as an earned one does. David Wright with a runner on first and one out. John Lackey at the plate. 6-11. Fly ball to right field. That is going to be Jason Hayward. And he fields defensively rated at a 1. <clears throat> so we're going to look at outfield. And we're going to look at 1. Outfield, 1. Roll that. 17, out, 5. And for outfielders, 5 means runner on third scores, other runners hold. So that'd be like a sack fly working four toe on third. He would have scored on that play. Um, but Hayward makes the out. And that is right field. So 2 away. DeGrom still on first. Danny Murphy at the plate. John Lackey looking to get out of the inning. Uh, six, five, strikeout. He does so. That's his third. But one run across for the Cardinals in the top of the fourth. They're up three to nothing. All righty, let's go to the bottom of that said inning. Jake DeGrom coming on. And he will be facing Jason Hayward. Ah, oh, we got enough room for another roundabout, maybe. Hayward, Piscotty, and Carpenter in order in this inning. DeGrom with the pitch to Hayward. Here's the pitch. Four, six, four, six. Strikeout DeGrom, his third. Two in a row. Seems to be settling in. Steven Piscotty. One away. Here's the pitch. Five, six. That's going to be a double or a single. One through seven is a double. Four. That is a double for Piscotti. Second hit of the ball game. Singled back in the first. Matt Carpenter now. Runner on second. Runner in scoring position. DeGrom is set. <sighs> yep, just go. Three, five. That is a single for Carpenter. So there is a single. Piscotti is a 1-13. to 13. We're going to hold off on that. Um, we've got Gritchick coming up. He may be able to drive him in. Now what we're going to do, normally, personally, I would sit back and go for the double play. We have a runner on third with one out. We're going to play infield in. Okay? So you can see how this works. Randall Gritchick is set. Um, runners on first and third, infield in to Grom with the pitch. 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven is a strikeout. So that didn't do anything. Hopefully the situation will arise again. That's not the end of the inning. Don't do that. Two outs, runners at the corners. Infield is normal. Peralta at the plate to Grom with the pitch. 5 Four. Catcher's card X, and that's going to be Plawecki. He is a two rated defensively as catcher. So we get catcher's card out. And we are looking at the two column right here. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Got a 12. Two. Twelve. Foul out, and that ends the inning. Uh, right there. X, two. That ends it officially. All right, we are through four, and it is 3-1 Mets.
Take them. Take that. And we go to the top of the fifth. Another three outs, and this game will be official. Uh, John Lackey, Arjan in charge for the cards. He will face Espedes, Granderson, and Duda, the heart of this lineup. The power and average guys. Espedes is set. Lackey with the pitch. Three, six, and that's a strikeout. His fourth of the game. Second time he's gotten Espedes to strike out. Curtis Granderson, one out. Lackey with the pitch. Five, nine, and there's another strikeout. That knuckleball is doing what he wants it to now. Shame he didn't have that going in the first inning. Two outs, Lucas Duda, first baseman. Lackey with a pitch. One, this is going to hurt. Eight, nope, single. One to two. Line out below that to end the inning. Fifteen, line out to second base, up the middle. Good play there by Colton Wong. One, two, three, go the Mets. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Picking up the pace now a little bit. So you can get an idea for the flow of the game. And we'll cover a rule when we get to it that we haven't done yet. But uh, just want to give you an example of how the flow of the game goes once you get the hang of it. Yadi Molina leading off, bottom of the fifth for the Cardinals. Jake DeGrom is set. He'll face Brandon Moss and John Lackey in this inning. Molina, one, two. A line out shortstop into as many outs as possible. Since there's no one on base, it's just a line out to the shortstop. So that is out number one, Yachty. Brandon Moss. So far, DeGrom is doing well. He's only given up three base runners. He struck out four in four and a third's inning worth of work thus far. Brandon Moss, three, three. Hard ground ball hits a second base, fielded cleanly there by Danny Murphy. Gets it over to Lucas Duda for out number two. So you can call the play-by-play -play if you want to to spice your game up, you know? And if you've watched any of my videos, I, I try to do that. I try to make it entertaining. I try to put it in your mind, you know? Um, here we go. John Lackey. Two outs. He's going, he's pitching okay, so they're going to let him go. They're going to let him go. I'll let him bat. Two outs. Five, four, catcher's card X. So that'll be Plowecki. He is a two. Let us see what catcher's card X2 is going to do. Uh, that is a, f nah, D4 would sit on that. That's a three. So two, three, safe at first on a drop pop-up with a dash one. And dash one means runners advance a base. So safe at first on a drop pop-up. So that is going to be John Lackey. Um, it's not an error because there are errors listed in and amongst. Um, da -de -da, just to show you an example, because I know there are errors. Aren't there? There are. Yeah, errored dribbler. So it says the word error if it is an error. So with two outs, Lackey is on base. Colton Wong, leadoff batter, third time around. He struck out twice at the hands of Jake DeGrom. Here comes the pitch. Four, nine, and same fate. Strikeout number five for Jake DeGrom here to wrap out the fifth inning. Cardinals do not plate any runs. It is three to nothing, New York. We go to the top of the sixth. Alrighty. John Lackey is coming in. He will pitch this inning to the bottom of the order. Flores, Conforto, and Plowecki. Flores is the leadoff batter. And let's roll the dice. Top of the sixth. One, seven. And Flores leads off with a single, his first hit of the game. Next up is Michael Conforto, who scored on a run after reaching second on the errored play by Johnny Peralta. Lackey with a pitch. 5-10, catcher's card X. So that's going to be Molina. And he is rated defensively as a 1. So let's get that chart out. And we're going to be looking catcher 1. Roll to 16. Wild pitch, one. Runners advance one base, followed by a foul out. 
So that is going to be Flores Wild Pitch. I will mark that down here for Lackey because I keep track of those. Wild Pitch 1, followed by a foul out of Conforto. So one out, runner on second. Brings up catcher Kevin Plowecki. Ground ball double play is out for the moment. Lackey with the pitch. 3-9-3-9. Three, nine, three, nine. Strikeout. Lackey sixth. He and DeGrom are chasing each other up the strikeout board. Um, top of the sixth. DeGrom's going to continue to pitch. 6-6. Six, six. So he will bat. 6-6. Six, six, fly ball to center field for out number three. Uh, no runs plated for the Mets. In the bottom of the sixth, three nothing is your score. And this is how it goes. It, this is playing a basic game of Stratomatic. It doesn't take long. Um, let's see. Let's start to do it this way. Yeah, that'll work. So that way I'll have room and not start having to worry about space for the scoring of the plays. A little lower. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. Uh, Cardinals are up. Jason Hayward leading off. Here comes Jake DeGrom with the pitch. 6-9. Strikeout. His sixth. Keeping pace with Lackey. Steven Piscotti. One away. Cardinals need to score some runs. They're starting to run out of time. 1-2-4. Hard grounder hit to third base. That's going to be fielded cleanly by David Wright. Gets it over to Lucas Duda for out number two. Matt Carpenter. The wind up the pitch from DeGrom. Two, nine. Strikeout number seven. DeGrom is having none of this. All righty. That'll take us to the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, Cardinals, Gritchick, Peralta, and Molina will be up. Lackey. Now, sorry. What? What did I just do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just did that. Now, geez, top of the seventh. I didn't write this. That's what threw me off. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I never make mistakes. And if you make a mistake, so what? You're playing a game. Don't worry about it. Keep the heck on going, man. Have fun. Don't worry about it. Alrighty, Lackey. Let's go ahead and show you how simple it is to go to a relief pitcher. Okay, shall we do that? Uh, we want to take Lackey out of the game. Now, this is how I do it. I put a little wedge in the top of the first batter of the next pitcher. So that way I know that is as far as Lackey went right there. Lackey went six innings. We're going to take Lackey out. So we just simply remove him from the game. And we're probably going to replace him with, oh, why not, Sean Gilmartin. Because, yeah, got him. Sean Gil Martin. So we're going to write Gil Martin's name next. So that way we know he's the next pitcher. Also, Lackey is not going to be batting anymore. So I will put that line there to show that the next batter will either have to be Gil Martin or a pinch hitter. Alrighty. A little more of that will work. Here we go. David Wright set the lead off. Top of the seventh. Got it right. Here's the pitch, four, four, so four, four is a ground ball to second base. Four, three ground out for David Wright for out number one. Danny Murphy. The pitch from Go Martin, five, seven, five, seven, fly ball to left field for out number two. And Yuanes Suspedes. Center fielder, two outs, top of the seventh, three nothing Mets. Gil Martin with a pitch, four, 12. 
Ground ball to second base. Uh, good play there by Danny Murphy. Gets it over to Duda for out. No, nope. see, I did it wrong. Ah, I got the wrong pitcher. Make a mistake. See, I did a mid-game trade. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not going to go back and change it because so what? You know, you, you make a mistake. Whatever. All right, so let's get a real pitcher for the Cardinals instead of one of the Mets guys. Uh, Lackey will go there. Dear goodness gracious, what the heck, people. Uh, let's bring in Steve Sishek uh, instead. A real Cardinal. Oh, Whiteout can be your best friend if you decide to do it in ink instead of pencil. Tinkles better. But you can do it in ink. You just need to be prepared to fix your screw ups. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sishek. Sishek. Goes there. Wow. How'd I do that one? That was special, right? That was three kinds of stupid and special. Oh well. I forget where we were, so we're just going to re roll the whole thing. Um, so, Ioannis Espedes is up two outs, top of the seventh, with a real Cardinals pitcher. Um, and, uh, yep, okay, let's roll. Two outs. Sorry about that. Uh, four, seven. Four, seven is a walk. So, Espedes gets on to extend the inning. Uh, we're going to try and steal a base. So, you can see how to steal a base. Suspedes is a C, is a steal rating. Uh, Molina is not going to put the hold on with two outs, because who in their right mind would steal with two outs? Uh, but we have got, with a C, going to second base, 1 to 11 is safe, 12 to 20 is out. They're not holding him, so 1 to 11 is safe. It's a 20. He is caught stealing. Yachty guns him down. That'll be out number three. So we'll call that a 2-6. And that's going to end the inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the seventh. Normally I would not do that, but I wanted to show you stealing a base. And I'll probably try to show it to you again. Uh, if possible. Not worried about the integrity of a win here. I'm worried about showing you how to play the game. Uh, we have Jake DeGrom. Move that there is fine. Uh, a little bit, okay. Jake DeGrom. DeGrom. DeGrom is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the stinking thing burn. Randall Gritchick. Uh, we need to slide you guys over so they can actually be seen. Alrighty, Gritchick is leading off. Bottom of the seventh. At the old ball game. Seventh inning stretch. Pitch from DeGrom. One, two. One, two. Ground to shortstop, 6-3, out number one. Johnny Peralta. DeGrom of the pitch, 5-10. Uh, shortstop X. New York, that'll be Wilmer Flores. He fields at a four. Get the chart out. Uh, shortstop, uh, we're looking at four. Rolled an 18, out one, which means runners would advance a base. Were there any? 6-3 ground ball, two away. Brings us to Yadi Molina. He is 0 for 2 so far, grounded and lined to short. DeGrom with the pitch. 2-6, 2-6, grounder to short, and goes right back to Flores again. And Flores is earning the paycheck in the bottom of the seventh defensively. Three ground outs over to Duda. Alrighty, let's go to the top of the eighth. What have we not covered yet? We haven't done infield in. Uh, we showed you bunt, hit and run, stealing, ground balls, fly balls, X chart. So we really need to do a little more stealing and infield in if the situation arises where we actually get to use the chart. Um, Syshak is going to pitch again. You can leave him in as long as you like. 
totally up to you. It says that in rule book. Let, leave them in as long as you like. You can pitch the whole game with a reliever. Uh, play it the way you want to. Have fun. Um, no, Duda is not up. I flipped a batter when I didn't want to. Granderson is next. It's also another thing to do so you don't make mistakes like I did before. Uh, Granderson is next up, but his card wasn't on top, so I fixed that mistake. And if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Don't try to be like, oh my gosh, what happened? Just keep on playing. Have fun. Curtis Granderson. Top of the eighth. Three nothing Mets. Three, seven. One, two, three, seven. Double one to nine. Single ten to twenty. That'll be a single for Granderson. Uh, his third hit of the game. Let's try some stealing. It's late in the game. They've got the lead. They're not going to hold him. So Granderson is a C-rated stealing base stealer. Da da da. That would be a nine C. One to eleven is safe. Nine is in that range. So Granderson slides into second, well underneath the tag. So that is a stolen base. That's how you do it. Whenever you want to steal, you steal. Just hope you roll good enough to um, carry the day. Especially against Yachty Molina if he's going to hold the base runner. Now, if we had been holding the base runner, that 9 on the 1 to 11, it would have become a 1 to 7, and that 9 would have been in the out range because that would have dropped from 12 to 20 to 8 to 20 out. So makes a difference. It makes a difference. There are no penalties in the basic version of the game for holding a base runner. You can do it anytime you want to. You can hold every single one of them if you want to. There's nothing saying that you can't. There's nothing saying that you shouldn't. There are penalties in the advanced and sad V games um, for holding a base runner in slight demerits to the fielding abilities of those involved in holding the runner. But in the basic version, you can do it as the day is long. As long as... <laughs> Start the game with a pitcher, let him pitch a couple of batters, bring in your reliever, let him go the whole game and hold every single runner. Nothing saying he can't do it. One out, no, nobody out. Granderson on second, Duda at the plate, Syshak trying to make this happen. Two, ten is a walk. So he would not have had to have risked stealing the base. He would have gotten on with the walk anyway. Nobody out, two on, Syshak. Facing Wilmer Flores, 4, 10, just missed it. Fly ball, center field, C. So it's a fly ball to center field. We know that. So that's the out. Fly ball, C, batter is out, runners hold. So it was a shallow fly ball, so no one was able to advance. So that'll be one out on Flores. Conforto comes to the plate. I check with the pitch. 5-3. Five, 5-3 three. Five, three is ground ball back to the box. And Syshek, just like uh, all the others, let's go ahead and write him in since he's fielding now. Uh, pitcher 2. 10-E. So defensively, he is a 2. And we're going to look right there. First, third pitcher. Two column. And that is an 11. 11. One base error on Syshak. Uh, it had a 1 after it, which means runners advance one base only. Bases are loaded with one out. And we're going to replace Syshak in the middle of the inning. Replace him whenever you want to. So let's take him out. We're going to mark that as the next pitcher. Let's see if we can do this with the right team. St. Louis. I'll take Syshek out. We'll put in Trevor Rosenthal. Yeah. They're in trouble now. Rosen. I really hate writing with my hand there. Normally I've got the page tilted. Weird thing, me. Rosenthal, one out, bases loaded. Uh, Kevin Plowecki is at the plate. 
And here we go. 311. 311. Ground ball to third base is a B. Now, we're going to redo the whole thing, okay? Uh, one out. Infield in. Okay? Infield in. So we're now going to be looking at the infield in chart, hopefully. Let's roll the up. You should call that first. Not be like, oh, but the infield would have been in. I'll do that if I forget to say it when I know it's a situation when I would have done it. But with one out, normally I'd hold out for the double play. But let's do infield in. Uh, two, six, single. And just to rehash. Um, dum de dum. Ground balls followed. Any ground ball followed by. Um, but, yeah, this is for ground balls found on scoreboard A, B, and C, or ground balls on the X chart. A single is not a ground ball found on the scoreboard, and a ground ball is not found on the X chart. Or a single isn't. So a single is a single. So that is a single single for Plawecki. And let me make sure in the rules that that doesn't mean that more people advance. Um, de dum. Uh, with the infield in, the chances of runner score that the runner will score from third on a ground ball are sharply reduced, but double play possibility significantly diminished. Um, if the result is ground ball A, B, or C, consult the in, infield in table. If it's a ground ball X, resolve the play and then consult the infield in table. Um, if the result of the ground ball with two pluses following it, then the, change the result to single and two stars. So actually, if it's just a single, two six, and it's just a plain old single, then that is a base hit. And runners score. One runner scores. We're going to hold Duda at third. He's a 110 anyway. But that would be 4-1 Mets. And that's going to bring up DeGrom. Let's do a pinch hitter. Let's show you how to do a pinch hitter. You just... DeGrom has had enough. We're going to bring someone else in to close it out. Um, so, DeGrom, let's put that there so that way I know. DeGrom went 7. And who is going to come in and pinch hit for Jake DeGrom? Let's take the pitcher's hitting card out, as we will not need it any longer. Who's going to pinch hit? Uh, let's see, Mets. Who's going to pinch hit for DeGrom? Oh. We have nobody out. No, we have one out, bases loaded. Now, one thing you can do, you can go through here, you can look at your average guys. You can also look to see if someone has a lot of fly ball Bs, because that would score another run, a sacrifice fly. That's what a fly ball B generally is with a runner on third. Um, looking off screen, then I'll show you my decision in just a moment. Of course, there's that. Boom. Um, Ligaris, no. Nah. Johnson, nah. Got that though. Michael Kadire, er, nah. Uh, we're going to go with who? Um, I think we're going to go with, hmm. Tough decision. Analysis paralysis. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got, that's not cool. Let's go with Alex Guerrero just to pick somebody. Alex Guerrero is going to be the pinch hitter. Uh, ear, ear. Uh, 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 uh. Pinch hit. Uh, he is a 11E base runner. So he is going to face Trevor Rosenthal. Pinch hitting for Jake DeGrom. 
four, ten, four, ten. All that work for a strikeout. Shh. Whatever. Okay, so there's a strikeout of Guerrero for Rosenthal. Two outs, one runner scored. It's four nothing, and that's going to bring up David Wright of the Mets. Alrighty, yeah, let's bring it over a little more. We can now. Here comes the pitch. Back up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, five six, five six. Another strikeout for Rosenthal. That's his second. That's the end of the inning. Um, an error got him stolen base, filled in behind. An error got him to third. The single scored him, but would have gotten him to third had the error not taken place. So that is an unearned run as well. Okay. I like figuring that out before I go along. Because, you know, earned run average. Keep track of that. All right, so who are the Mets going to bring in to pitch here in the bottom of the eighth? Let's see. I'm thinking... Now, see, Gil Martin could come in, but yeah, it's, he's turncoat. <laughs> let's bring in... Let's give the Cardinals a chance, shall we? All yeah, right, Hanson Robles. We're going to bring Robles in. Uh, Robles... We'll be pitching. Uh, let's do that because Guerrero is no longer going to be in the game. All right, bottom of the eighth. Uh, Hanson Robles. That's good. He is going to be taking on Brandon Moss. Probably a pinch hitter for uh, Syshek. He's not in the game. Pinch hitter for Rosenthal. And then back to the top for Colton Wong. Um, let's see. 250 battery. Yeah, Brandon Moss. Robles with the pitch, 4-2, and Moss leads off with a double. Okay, uh, brings in Syshek. We are definitely going to pinch hit since we have a runner on. Uh, let's see, who's going to come in and pinch hit for Steven Syshek? I'm thinking Matt Holiday. Yeah. Matt Holiday. Uh, so, uh, extra little line there. We're going to go down here. Two L's, I D A Y. Pinch hitter, and he is a 10 D base runner. Uh, facing Hansel, Hansel Robles. Moss on second. Here comes the pitch. It is a 3-4. 3-4. Three, 1-3 four. Three, four. Three is a homer. 5. It is a double. 4 through 20. And that is going to score Brandon Moss. RBI double for Matt Holliday. Brandon Moss scores. 4-1. And now Colton Wong coming up to the plate. Lead off batter, runner on second. Uh, Robles is set. Wong, a 262 batter, is going to. Ah, do you bunt him over? You don't want to give him the out, but let's show bunting again. Yep, let's show bunting again. So we're going to be looking at sacrifice. Colton Wong laying it down. In and air. That's an 11. Uh, so we look at 11. Batter pops out to the first baseman. Runners hold. So Colton Wong, P3. One away. Runners hold. Being Holiday on second. Jason Hayward comes to the plate. Uh, 293 batter. He's swinging away. Rebels is set. 4-2. Double. Second time they've tagged that off Rebels card. Another RBI double, and the Cardinals score another run here in the bottom of the eighth. 4-2 is your score now. Uh, Steven Piscotti. 305 batter, that's looking good. Uh, two, nine is not. Strikeout for Robles. 
That is the second out of the inning. And that is going to bring us to Matt Carpenter. Uh, let me do something real quick. Okay, so that way I know. Matt Carpenter. Hayward on second. 4-2. A pitch. 1-8. Single. 1-8. to eight. Line out otherwise. Four. That is a single with one star, so runners advance one base. That moves Hayward to third. Runners at the corners. Two outs. Brings us to Randall Grichik. He is a 276 batter. He's 0 for 3 so far. Uh, Robles is going to try to get him out of the inning. 5-8. Five, 5-8. Eight, five, eight. Ground ball shortstop X. That's going to be Wilmer Flores is a 4. Low defensive rating. Uh, let us see. 14. Shortstop, 4. 14, out with no runners on base, 4. What that means is, and I'll read it for you, and basically it's the fielder's choice version. Uh, if no runners are forced, runners hold. With one or more runners forced, batter is safe. Runner on first going to second is out. Other runners advance a base. So that was to uh, a shortstop. That was to Flores. He's going to go to Murphy to get Carpenter. 6-4. Fielder's choice. Inning is over. Two runs for the Cardinals. We go to the top of the ninth. Okay, here we go. Coming down to it. Are you going to get free baseball in the tutorial game? <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> we shall see. I know Al is thinking about this right now. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Rosenthal. Holiday came in to pinch hit for Rosenthal, so he's no longer pitching in this game for the cards. Uh, let's bring in Seth Manis. Let's do it. Seth Manis is going to come in. Starting right there. Seth Manis. He'll be facing the heart of the Mets order in Murphy, Suspedes, and Granderson. Now, something you can do, and we'll show you in the bottom of the ninth, something else you can do that other teams do. Let's right now do this, though. Manus is set. Murphy. Here's the pitch. Six, nine, strikeout. So Murphy goes down on strikes. Manus first. Uh, Suspedes. That is a 6-5. Six, 6-5 five, six, five strikeout. It's kind of why they brought him in, isn't it? Curtis Granderson. The pitch. 5-9. Homer, 1-15. to 15. Double below that. 16, it's a double. Extra base hit to extend the inning. Ouch. That was real close. Uh, Lucas Duda. 5-6. 5, five, six, five Six, double scores him. Mets put one more insurance run up on the board. Five to your score. Wilmer Flores. That's a 3-12. 3-12 fly ball to right field ends the inning. Mets put up one more, and that's what the Cardinals have to do. Score is 5-2. to two. Hmm. A little over an hour, but that's okay. We're covering everything as we go. Um, Robles. Robles. Robles, 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 Robles. Uh, yeah, still Robles. Uh, we're going to bring in a reliever for... We're going to do the other things. Okay, so Hansel Robles is coming out of the game... And we're going to bring in uh, Juris, Fam Juris Familia. So Familia is going to pitch the ninth. Get the save, hopefully. One inning for Robles. Familia starts there. 
defensively, we're going to bring in better fielders. So do the Mets have anybody? Uh, you got a three at third base. Let's see the good ones that we can bring in. There's threes. We don't want fours. Uh, there's three. There's a three. There's a two. There's a three. We don't want fours. Okay, I've got three guys that might be better. Uh, four guys. Kelly Johnson is a three at second base. Danny Murphy is a four. Kelly Johnson is going to come in defensively. That way, the fielding is a little better. Johnson, uh, defensively, bottom of nine. Second base, three. That way I know when he came in, why he came in. Uh, center field, a two. Suspedes is a two. Leave him in. Tejada, uh, three, shortstop. He'll come in for Flores. Uh, Ruben Tejada. Uh, defensively, bottom of the ninth, shortstop, a three. That way if something happens, we know who's going to be batting. Juan Uribe, third base, a three, right stays in. So we've made a couple of defensive substitutions, so that way the defense is a little bit better for the Mets here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Uh, Johnny Peralta facing Jairus Familia. Familia. Uh, Peralta, 275. Yeah, he's going to bat. All right, here we go. Familia with the pitch. 4-10. Fly ball to right field. Out number one. Johnny Peralta is retired. Mets are two away from a win. Uh, Yadi Molina. He is going to bat. 5-8. Five eight strikeout. Out number two brings us to Brandon Moss. Are we going to pinch hit for Brandon Moss? Uh, da 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 da. Not really. Let him go. Brandon Moss facing Jaris Familia. One nine strikeout. Familia closes out with two Ks, and that is going to be the ball game. Right there. That's how you play basic Stratomatic. And uh, like I said, that took an hour, about an hour and one minute, hour and two minutes. But once you get the hang of it, I mean, you're going through a basic game like lightning. You really are. It does not take any time at all to play a game of Stratomatic Basic once you get the hang of it. Once you're familiar with it. Once you're familiar with it. <laughs> I know. Bad. Alrighty, so boom, boom. Guys, that's how you play Stratomatic. That's kind of all there is to it. There's not much to it at all. So, um, thank you very much for attending Stratomatic University's base, basic baseball course series. You have now graduated. Gold star, doink, right there. Um... Any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, please uh, put it down in the do do thingy. And um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope it got you excited to try something new. Um, yeah, Rob's hat. But where's my hat? I'm not seeing it. It's around here somewhere. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Oh, I don't see my hat. Oh, well, no problem. I'll keep the fellies on for Rob. Um, yeah, so that's it. Stratomatic. Play more games. Play more games! Um, whatever you decide to play. Um, things to take away from this. You don't have to know all the rules, but the ones you're going to use the most, get those down pat. That way you're chasing stuff less. Um, don't worry about making a mistake. If you make a, an error, you know, I do it. All of us, all of us content creators here on YouTube in this community do it. Don't worry about it. It's a game. Enjoy it. Have fun playing it. Have fun rolling the dice. Have fun remembering times with your favorite players of the years of yore. And the mistakes won't mean nearly as much. Um, 
that's it. That's it. Uh, I hope this helped. And I hope you guys have a wonderful whatever you have coming to you when you watch this. Yeah. Oh! Sorry, Rob. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep on rolling.